it's another role <laughs> it's an extension of my personality i don't have to change who i am to be an entrepreneur i actually was doing commerce um this is before i became an actor because my father was you know a businessman and i think god had another plan and i became an actor thank god for that because i think I'd, i thought at that point i'd be a terrible business woman not every investment is going to end up or company ends up becoming a unicorn i got lucky with uh, mama earth and i'm so proud that uh, i managed to foresee the future that i did at that point 5 years ago this was yeah how did you actually get associated with mama earth you know what what brought it on so as an actor you get many opportunities to endorse many brands and i remember varun coming to me with this offer and he wanted me to endorse mama earth and before i endorse any product i always read the back of the pack and i do a lot of due diligence before i even say yes forget the investment even if i had to endorse a product there's a lot of work there's a lot of nos that happened before the yeses and i remember varun giving me a whole lot of products at that time there weren't that many products but those few that he gave me those mosquito patches i remember and uh, uh the shampoos and the no tear shampoo and they were all paraben free and non toxic and made safe certified so i think for a mom an indian mom where i realized that if i needed a paraben free product i had to really get it from abroad this was back in the day and for me that really struck a chord with me that here is a company that's really thinking about you know your child's skin and it's the largest organ and so it struck me as a mom and then an investor so i used it on my child and it smelled amazing it did the job and um, those mosquito patches were new for that time and i put them everywhere i put them even on me <laughs> and it worked and that's how the deal happened i said you know what i i believe in it as a mom and i really feel that you know we need something like this and i said i won't just be your brand ambassador i want to invest and let's see how we can make that happen and he was more than happy and i think when you're invested in a company of uh, beyond just leveraging your name people believe in you more and people suddenly wake up and think that oh if she's invested in it there must be something to it you know so i think it worked both ways because of that how did it sort of change you and help you evolve from a celebrity to an entrepreneur as an investor after mama earth happened you know i um i have to it has to resonate with me the product or or uh, whatever it is that i decide to put an investment i invest in people people behind the brand and i invest in their vision so for me it's all about that it, it's a synergy of a lot of things put together and now what kind of brands are you looking you're a restaurant here as well so you know she shared it here so now going forward what kind of brands would you want to see yourself associated with i you know it's not contrived ritu i i am just going to play it by ear and like for example yesterday we announced wicked good i really think that i love the concept of unjunking you know the concept of having all the ingredients that you would find in a thali to make a continental dish <laughs> so i just love the idea so for me i think uh, whatever i invest into it's stuff that uh, i cannot tell you how many products i say no to yeah, i'm sure 
even as a brand endorser as an artist as a celebrity i think it, you know you there is an onus and um, on you when you take up something you have to live up to it one and you are also responsible uh, to to the clientele i just feel that uh, there are a lot of people who you know endorse products and i'm like i would never do that like for example i would never endorse uh, an aerated drink because it's terrible for your kids for you and no matter how much money they would pay me or a pan masala for that matter anything that that is 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 an absolute no no for me my kids i have to be able to convincingly stand there and say please buy it how does one do that so i'm very very conscious and conscientious about what i endorse and what i invest into sure no yes. i think and that's brilliant uh, to have that kind of spirit in you to say and to walk away from a deal uh, sometimes it's of course <laughs> many <laughs> You know, on the other side, I also see that you're a great propagander of wellness. You know, with what you've done uh, with the simple, uh, soulful. the soulful app, and uh, overall, I think the way you've sort of promoted yoga and how you tell uh, women to, you know, keep love their bodies and keep themselves fit, and it doesn't matter what age you are, you should just sort of go out, make sure you're flexible, make sure you're fit. So. what brought that on i mean you know when did you decide that this was something um, that you not only wanted for yourself but also for other women you became an ambassador of sorts for in for all the women to you know be healthy think fit i really go out there and i shoot those monday motivations for my audiences and i'm like i do it because it keeps me motivated you know to be able to help someone what's the use of all this knowledge if i'm not going to be able to help somebody so for me it's this whole karmic exchange and that that's the reason i i there's there's nothing that's hidden you know for me there are no secrets because there are there are a few people who like to keep things to themselves they won't share what they do i don't belong to that category so it's really my my audiences that keep me going uh, my zest for life comes from the sheer love that i receive and i only have heartfelt gratitude and that's my way of kind of paying back when there is so much pressure it's bound to bow, you know bog you down it's going to affect your your mental state your physical being and uh, that's why i prescribe and i've only preached yoga because it is a science and uh, you know answering your earlier question why i started the simple soulful app was because world over, over people that have these apps i realized yoga came from india but there was no single indian that had a you know an international standard yoga app all of them are run by uh, foreigners and i i really took it very personally i i thought why is it that we don't have really well standard um uh, app that can cater to the world over and that's where the idea of uh the simple soulful app came and i really hope and request through you please it was it was started so that people could focus on their health you know focus focus in inwards and now we just not only do yoga we you know give people solutions and goal based uh, uh what do you call it uh, so i i've 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 made it uh accessible to people who don't have the time and you know who who cannot afford too much when it comes in the health and wellness space and today we have nearly 6.4 million users you know subscribers and not just from india but from world over we have 70 or, or above 70 different programs catering to men and women and nutrition um, aspects that are that have been covered 
and i feel all these things are so impo important to focus on to have better health you know so to answer your question uh it's not going to just come to you one fine day you have to focus on it you have to work towards it so if you're going to tell me that you know oh i'm well maintained and i'm looking good today it's because i focus on it and i'm aware that health is important to me not not for me to look good but it's it's for me to feel good and that's something that we need to focus on to feel good so ladies and gentlemen let's give a huge round of applause to shilpa she's she's making our industry so much more beautiful and just the right advice you know we we need to be focused on our health uh, work and wait lots of think and wait but you know our health has to be prioritized so thank you shilpa